Welcome to Fresh Perspectives Only. Uh, in this feature, we're talking to Matt Mason and Jason Rosenstein. Matt is the chief content officer for Palm, and Jason is a co-founder, founder of Portion. So we talked about Portion on the conversation with Johnny Kaplan. So if you've not seen that, check that out. Um, the reason why we're sitting down with these two is Palm and Portion have just announced a new partnership. And one of the things that's really interesting that we talk about in this conversation is with this relationship, things like more sustainable NFTs, uh, easier to access drops, um, really emphasis on the user experience and the artist experience. We talk about how lowering the technological boundaries within the NFT space is really generating a lot of opportunities for artists. Um, you know, the possibilities of collaboration, of types of art experiences, of contracts, is really, um, you know, it's a new frontier. So we talk with both of them about the how the Palm and Portion relationship is going to help accelerate NFTs into all sorts of different art communities. So with that, I'll toss over the conversation uh, with Matt and Jason. Uh, Jason, Matt, thanks for joining. Um, one of the one of the things I was really curious after reading a little bit more about the the the, the Portion and Palm. A relationship partnership and also kind of hearing kind of where both of you are coming at this new nft space obviously it's a very new and evolving community it's a very new and evolving technology um and there's a lot of applications that are undefined and kind of one of the things that i wrote down um from this partnership from kind of the press releases is, is kind of the idea of building for imagination mm -hmm. in terms of what 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 is this partnership able to um i guess unlock within the art nft community that could really kind of change the way people are perceiving what an nft is and what they can really do with this community so that was just kind of the first first thing that caught my eye in in the press release so i don't know if if jason or matt if you have thoughts on that uh, initial topic well, guys, I'll start by saying I'm really just honored to be partnering with you guys. I love what you're doing. And the reason why this partnership is so powerful is because we both we both have something and it's just this beautiful symbiotic relationship where we bring it together and this this new thing is created. Of, of course, you know, Portion has been in existence actually for like exactly five years now, August 2016. And the big thing now is, of course, everybody knows is that Ethereum is so raw and gas fees are ridiculous and it really it's really not that good you know like and i love it but it's not that good so when we partner with palm it's because they have the the side chain and they have that accessibility to the future evolution of of how i see ethereum expanding and of course gas fees go down to to nearly nothing and and that's just what we need to to all create this new decentralized economy together or exciting things like palm to, to, to further creative expansion. Yeah, I mean, for us, it was just, a, you know, it's like, likewise, you know, it's an honor um, because Portion has been out there, they've been doing this. And it was about just the alignment of perspectives. And for us, it's just, we want to work with platforms and artists and creators that are pushing the boundaries and really thinking at a deep level about what the blockchain means as a creative medium and how you can help creators and, and empower creators with this new technology. And, you know, because we're coming out of consensus, we, we have a, a sort of strong stack. We have enterprise grade technology. Our, our, our CEO, Dan Heyman was, was leading the largest team of developers working on Ethereum two before founding the Palm NFT studio. Um, and so we have that perspective, but we have this, you know, D Dan's brother, David Heyman, is the third highest grossing film producer in, in the world. And he's a partner in the business. Damien Hurst's manager, Joe Haig, who looks after 30% of the artists in the fine art world, who made money, is a partner in the business. And um, I was lucky enough to be employee number one here. And it was just, I, I couldn't, so, and I spent the last year before this kind of saying no to crypto jobs because I felt very disillusioned about... And it's never going to work. It's just going to calcify into more Netflixes and Spotify's and creators are 
you know, it's not going to work out. And then NFTs just really started growing and growing and growing. Like, oh, wait, we're going to, this is going to happen. And, and had to jump on this. And then it was just sort of, okay, well, we have the tech, like, who do we plug in? How do we, how do we get the best projects rolling and start empowering people? And uh, uh, of course, Porsche was one of the first people we wanted to talk to. Love it. The, the boundaries thing is, is kind of the thing I'm really curious at um, because, because of the relationship that you're kind of, you're kind of blending the, you know, the community with the tech, with the sustainability aspect, meaning it's, it's a lot more scalable um, of, of kind of the artists that you see within the NFT community that are pushing the boundaries. What are some of the ones, what are, what are the boundaries that you're seeing that can benefit from this partnership the most? Or, or unlock like new frontiers within the space? Is there, is there anything that comes to mind? I think it's, it's ultimately about accessibility because right now, I mean, th there's a boundary in the sense that there's a hurdle for, for artists around the world, you know, particularly third world countries where it's expensive to pay $50 gas fee to get, to get your artwork up. I mean, that just, that just doesn't make any sense. So that sort of boundary is, is totally being being jumped over and, and involved when now any artist anywhere can hopefully just spend a few pennies, right? Co correct me if I'm wrong. I don't, I don't want to talk anything, Tom, that, that it might not be right. right. pennies to create an NFT. And and then all of a sudden it's 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 about accessibility and artists can sell their work for 15 bucks and it'll make sense because right now there's there's just there's no artwork that's less than $50. That's really being sold because it costs fifty bucks in gas fees at times. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's exactly it. And it's for us. It's about. Um, can this? I think is the first thing. The first thing that Palm's doing that kind of adds value is, is is helping on the gas fees and transactions and penalty and eco impact and all the sort of the right now problems of of Ethereum. We know those problems are going to go away at some point with Ethereum 2. And our, you know, our, our CTO is in Ethereum 1 and 2 core dev and, and Dan's sort of line of sight into this. We have a good understanding that's going to go away. And the, the sort of long-term vision of Palm is what we're doing now is kind of what we want to keep doing in the this was a problem for Portion, it's a problem for everybody. And so all right, we can make this go away, but we don't, no one even knows what an NFT is yet. Right. And so like, what are the other tools? What are the other things that we can build? What are people going to need? Like as a, as someone who came up in sort of music and the creative industries, um, like a lot of the time technology is something you just want to get, you want to get it out of the way. You want to get your, your idea or the way that you can make, convey meaning to an audience to them as directly as possible. And a lot of times technology is kind of in the way, whether that's a, a social network or a walled garden or something where it's like you've got to compromise your business model or how you talk to people. And there's all these ways that you can remove those boundaries um, with NFTs. But, you know, there's most artists don't know what a Solidity developer is. And they definitely don't know that half of them retired this year because they made so much money on Ethereum last year, much less that they need one if they're going to do anything. So like, how do we create how do we plug in platforms like Portion? How do we do amazing projects with amazing artists and, and think about really creative uses of the blockchain? And then how do we productize that stuff as sort of tool sets on Palm, as stuff that we can, we can create and, and have it be open source and have people use things? To, like, our job, we think, is to just get out of everybody's way. Like technology is always in the way. So if we can get out of the way and help people do really creative things, the, the world will change because artists are always smarter than platforms or, or technologists and they know their audience is better and they, they've, they've got the craziest imaginations and we just got to get out of the way. And so that's what we're trying to do. And, and you know, working with the Portion team, the Portion team are artists and they are, they're bringing together people in, in amazing ways. And it was just like, all right, well, we have to be here and help these guys. This is a place where we can help, but then like, how, how do we keep helping long-term is our sort of vision. Mm -hmm. what, are, what are some of the key roadblocks you're seeing that artists are facing, right? We're talking about wanting to get out of the way. Um, obviously, mm -hmm. 
you know, mentioning the, the gas fees is a key, that's a key one. Is there any other, like, obviously knowledge of what an NFT is, is, is yeah. a key, key one, mm-hmm. but is there anything else that, um, you guys kind of see that, that we can kind of work together with, um, to, to allow that imagination to really take hold of the technology as opposed to being inhibited by it. Hmm. Um, Jason, do you, any, any thoughts? I don't want to hold the mic. It's just, you know, we're, I think we're all envisioning a future where people really aren't going to need to know it's on the Ethereum blockchain or on, you know, on Palm or, oh, we got to install MetaMask in your Chrome browser and, and put a little bit of, you know, something on there to get the gas to go through. I, 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 th- I think th- it's just, it's the whole ecosystem. It's like, I don't know, it's kind of like using like, you know, before GUIs, you know, before the whole screen interface, it's like using command prompt in like the 80s. Mm-hmm. And like, that's this is where we're at. The space is so raw and experimental. And it, I just guess, you know, ultimately all the stuff that, that we're all building in, in here is is looking forward to a future where people just have it and it's, it's on their phone and they have their NFTs and artists can mint something and it just works. Just like the same way when we exchange emails, it just works and we're not sitting around marveling at the underlying technology of how it works yeah that's it's just that's it. it's just known it just is it just is <laughs> you know, maybe it's, it's on palm and you know it's on or it's on you know other things like it's just like it's just like meta chains together and it just like it just it just works essentially it doesn't matter how it works yeah, yeah that's it it should all just be it should be invisible and yeah i think the we need to get like, to, to, you know, we, we haven't even got to the hard questions yet about what are NFTs or what, how are they useful in film and music and this, you know, this creative discipline and that one, because artists aren't even at the point yet where they're understanding, not not all artists, but generally like we're not ask, asking those questions yet because yeah, it's still pre gooey Like that's where this technology is. And the people here now, you know, are doing amazing things, but they're working with just raw components of something that will look very different in five years time and 10 years time and just, and eventually be invisible. Um, yeah. And just, I don't know the, the cultural implications of when it gets invisible to me are what's crazy. It's like, you know, if you try and talk to a grown up these days about that, oh, what's the point? I don't understand why anybody would like, pay this money for a JPEG or whatever. And then you talk to a kid who spent every penny they've ever earned or had or got from their parents on skins in a video game. This is the most useful thing they've ever heard of. Mm -hmm. And the kids that come up after them who can take their skin in a game or take their cool project from their favorite artist and stake it and it starts earning more songs or more skins are going to start asking questions about money because they learned about money through playing games and listening to their favorite band. And because blockchain was just a creative thing that they were involved with, their financial literacy is going to increase. So there's this whole like cultural layer of things that NFTs can do and ways they can impact the world that I I don't, yeah, we're not even, we're not even close to really thinking about what those could be yet. Mm. Yeah. I think I think maybe for the broader population of of people that have heard about an NFT, the only thing that they hear about is, oh, you can make a lot of money. But yeah, kind of the way you're describing it is seems like there's there's an unimaginable impact to the way we live our lives that this could potentially have. Yeah, I mean that's it. Yeah, I think there's yeah there's there's going to be there's going to be at some point I think. Um, a bifurcation of crypto art and NFTs. Like right now, they're the same thing. And but everybody in the space is sort of well versed in and talks about the potential of an NFT as a marketing engagement mechanism and a receipt and a ticket and a, you know just a a thing that can signify that you did something. And I think that world's coming faster than people think in terms of platforms and projects and brands and giant franchises and social networks and streaming services and gaming companies that are doing things with NFTs. And we're working with some of these people um, and we're doing cool stuff with them, but it's going to sort of change the pie chart of what NFTs are. 
And eventually that's going to change dramatically. And crypto art or NFTs that people sell for money may be a multi-trillion dollar business and it can still be just a sliver of all of the things that NFTs are. And, and that's before you've got into, well, how do you do news on the blockchain? How do you use a token curated registry to filter out fake news? Or how do you do voting? Or like that's before you get into some of the other things outside of just sort of entertainment. Um, and, I, and I think that's the kind of crazy, it's a really weird time. Like, and, and, and Jason was saying, you know, it doesn't matter if it's Palm or this blockchain or that blockchain. Like right now, there's this kind of war for content going on between like, us and other L2s where we'll talk to someone and be like, I've been offered a hundred million dollars to do this giant deal on this crypto platform. It's like, all right, well, maybe you should do that. But like, this is why you should go with us. And we don't really mind because we need another thousand companies to be founded yesterday in this space to service all of the demand that's going. So we're just trying to focus on, all right, what's the coolest, just the best stuff right now? And that could be a, you know, seismic project with a, a gaming company and it can be the coolest projects in the world with someone like Porsche. And so that's how we're trying to think about, let's just show the world what's possible. And then again, like get out of the way. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's the best approach to get to kind of, as Jason was talking to you earlier of like, it's just on your phone is you need the flashy, cool things to make people yeah. pay attention to the tech or the possibilities of it. Um, so Jason, what, like what's going on, what's going on in the portion world, um, with, with the partnership with Palm, what's, what in your, in your mind, what are you most excited about? Is there anything in particular that's, that's coming up that you're, you're amped about, um, any opportunities you see with working with the, with the Palm we, team? We definitely got some, some really huge drops coming up with the Palm team. I know we have embargo set. I don't know if I, I should say anything now about it, but there was, there's going to be news next week. Gotcha. I want to make sure that the, the all our marketing teams like really. We're not trying to get anyone in trouble. So I don't, I don't know what to do. With my mouth shut. Yes, yes. You're on the Give me the uh, give me the finger there. So that's thank you for that. Um, I almost slipped. I almost slipped. No, it's we got big partnerships lined up, and it's 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 really exciting. You, you know, it's it, it's really these these partnerships are game changers. But I I mean more in a. In, in a platform community sense, what we're doing w with Palm is, is equally as exciting, y you know, and we're, we're going to be having campaigns for artists to start minting their work on Portion, and we're going to be able to use the Portion token in, in unique ways mm -hmm. um, in collaboration with Palm as well. So let me rephrase it so we don't get anyone in trouble. So one of the things that, um, you know, that Matt, you said earlier, was like, oh, you need to have a thousand of these companies doing this. And mm -hmm. I know just working with the Portion team, I know with just kind of the folks I've been interacted with this space, everyone that's in it is super excited. Um, so I guess, I guess whether it's, whether it's a type of project with another platform, whether it's, um, you know, the innovation from an artist perspective or the, the application of, from the broader kind of the pie sense, like what are you most excited about right now with what you're doing in the space? Mm. Like what gets you jazzed? Oh, that's a really good question. There's just too, there's too many things. And I've <laughs> never, like, I, I've been around. I've lived through the birth of social and streaming and lots of things. And I've seen the creative industries always be very reticent about new technology. And that is not happening. It's the opposite. Like companies that would kicking and streaming had to be dragged into new revenue streams in you know, other evolutions of digital technology that tripled their market caps. And now like, oh no, no, we totally get it. It's social objects, they last for 10 years more, let's go. Like they're just in. And um, I think that's the most exciting thing to me is the, because the NFT thing, like nothing here was new in terms of, technology so jason and the team were building nfts before they were called nfts right like dapper labs was doing that um i, I used to work at bittorrent we built an artificially scarce distributed digital content system within bittorrent we, we we shifted 300 million legal license scarce torrents files in a year we, they weren't called nfts but they were sort of we were scratching around it and so people have been trying to do this and everyone's been complaining about centralized content 
what happened in the last year was for whatever reason or combination of reasons, people were just like, oh, fuck, no, let's, let's go. Like, let's actually do this. People just collectively decided to do this. That's fucking exciting. That's sorry, I don't fucking swear on the show. But like, yeah, I'm that excited. Like, it, yeah, I, yeah. Grew, I grew up doing pirate radio and then went to work at a major record label as soon as I graduated and had this horrible, like, shock, horror that the rest of the entertainment world did not work like pirate radio, which was literally you duct tape a scaffolding pole to the top of a, a tower block in a city and you can reach 10 million kids and get records at the top of the charts. Like to me, technology should be that simple and business and, and entertainment should be that simple. It never has been. And now this sort of, I think that's the threat of NFTs and the opportunity. And, and that's the most exciting thing. It's not really this project or that project. It's just collectively creators and everyone curators and, and fans are like, okay, let's do this. Let's go. And that's a social norm changing. And that's amazing. It was outrageous how quickly it happened, right? I yeah, mean, I've never seen anything happen. I, I'm, I'm fortunate to have been in crypto for over a decade, and that took a long time. <laughs> and like, I, you know, like we've come so far, but NFTs in one month, you know, my next door neighbors were talking about it. And it's just like, it just, the way it just penetrated the crowd was just absurd. It was amazing. I love it. Yeah. I can, I mean, I, I like you said, you just said that. I've heard more people talk about it in the last month or two than I had previous, like the previous like 12, 24 months. And it's picking up, which is great. So people might not know exactly what an NFT is, but they're talking about it. So I feel like that's a positive it. thing. Exactly, which is great. Um, awesome guys. Well, I, um, short conversation, short and sweet. I, I can, I'm excited for the Palm portion partnership. I think there's gonna be a lot of really cool things happening. <laughs> Um, as you guys both said, it's like, it is a really exciting time um, to be in this space and um, we're excited to see what happens. So this is my conversation with Matt and Jason. For more information on Palm, go to palm.io. And for more information on Portion, go to portion.io. The partnership press release is uh, available on both websites. And for more information on both Matt and Jason, check out the freshperspectivesonly.com website. I'll be building out profiles for everyone that we interview um, on Fresh Perspectives Only. So anything that they talked about will be linked up in those pages. If you like this episode, make sure to follow us on Spotify as well as on YouTube and be sure to share to all of your artist friends to get the fresh perspectives every day.